So today I'm with Kevin and we are cruising around the suburbs in his 1954 Porsche 356. Kevin, you've owned the car for a very long time. How'd you first come across it? Well, thank you for having me, man. But, uh, I've had the car since 1977. And uh, being a young man, I wanted a Porsche, but I really couldn't afford one. Uh, one of my friends was moving to Wisconsin and had this uh, taken apart wreck in his garage, didn't want to drag it up, and I ended up buying it. At the time, it wasn't running. It was painted, should we say, an odd shade of brown with a paintbrush. So it wasn't particularly nice. I got it running and drove it around locally, took it to a few minor shows. And if I needed a part, I'd go to the Porsche dealer and buy it. I accidentally restored it to a Concord standard because you can only get the parts from the Porsche dealer. So all of the odd bits of trim or whatever that wouldn't otherwise be available or would only be available is relatively poor reproduction. I got dealer parts. So that's the Concord standard. And one of the neat things is as you were going through the car, you found a piece of history that probably reveals a little bit about how the car was used prior to your ownership. When I stripped out the floors, I found this lodged in the panel. And uh, basically it's a PCA driver's school badge from what used to be called, or what used to be the Wilmot Raceway at the Wilmot, Wisconsin. And I've kept that, I cleaned it up. Now, Kevin, one of the your favorite aspects of the car is its quirkiness. Tell me about that. It's If you compare this to a later 356, it, it's just all different. I mean, from things to the, like a starter button, the wooden instruments, the strange radio. This has an AM shortwave, longwave radio in it. Everything works. To the, uh, the transparent sun visors and all sorts of odd, you know, the, the wind windows on the side. And they're just things that make this car kind of different from any of the other 356s that you might see. Well, thanks, Kevin, for sharing your story and your car. And for more stories just like this, go to dailyherald.com.